Learn how to create simple business websites and use them to generate leads for other established businesses. This is a pretty passive business idea. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and here on this channel, we talk about business and entrepreneurship. First things first, let's talk about passive income. So with passive income, you do have to put in a lot of work up front, but essentially after you put in a lot of work and build a thing, that thing can generate money for you without you having to continuously put in work to generate the money. So how does this business work? Luke Van Der Veer has been doing this business for several years now. He said it took him six months to replace his salary and then 12 months to start generating six figures. So how does he do it? To summarize this business, Luke builds local business websites. He makes it look like it's a legit business through the website. So once people start calling this business, he actually sends those leads to another established business in the area and he charges that business for the leads that he's sending. So essentially once he has this awesome website, he can rent it out to businesses to create leads for those businesses and his work is essentially done. I'm sure you have a ton of questions about how this business actually works. I know I did when I first discovered this method. So let's go ahead and dive a little deeper on how this strategy works. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to discover how much you can actually make each month using this method. So first you're going to choose a service business that could be pressure washing, mobile detailing, carpet washing. You get the idea. You do want to choose a business that people need year round. So you're going to avoid businesses like pool cleaning. You also want to choose a business where people actually have to call for you to come out. You also don't want to choose a business type that requires a license number, like a roofer, for example. The second most important step is choosing a city to base your business out of. So it does not have to be the city that you currently live in. The business website that you create will be local to whichever city that you choose. Luke recommends choosing cities that have a population between 50 and 400,000. So you want the city to be big enough where you actually have people that call you, but you don't want it to be so big where there's tons and tons of competition. Third, you're gonna scope out your competition. So you're going to look at other local businesses in the city that you chose. So for example, you might Google commercial cleaning in Dallas, Texas. This will allow you to scope out the current competition. You can see what their website looks like. Do they even have a website? Is it professional? Do they have um, lots of reviews? Now the fourth step is to use keyword tools to scope out how many searches this is actually getting each month. So how many people are actually searching for commercial cleaning in Dallas, Texas? If no one is actually searching for those things, then you're probably not going to get a lot of business. So you don't want to put in a ton of time creating a website that no one is looking for. So once you have decided on your pretend business niche and you have scoped out all the current competition, you can start building your website. The key here is that you look at your competition's business websites and you make yours better. Lots of businesses don't know anything about SEO. So Luke's strategy is to use SEO to help his business rank even higher than the current businesses that are out there. One tip that Luke gives is that he looks at his competition's website and he basically doubles everything that they have on their website. He uses all the same topics that his competitors use, but he just doubles the amount of information that is on this website. To help build the SEO of his website, he also creates a Google My Business profile. He adds the pretend business to Facebook, City Pages, Yellow Pages, and Yelp. This helps rank your website even higher on Google and chances are your competition is not doing this. So once your pretend website is up and running, you're gonna start getting calls. So what do you do? Before I tell you, please go ahead and take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So Lou says he answers the phone and he pretends to be the secretary of this business. He says that they are currently all booked up. He takes down the customer's information and then he calls up one of the real businesses in the area and asks them if they want to take the lead. After you give a few leads to a real business, then you can start negotiating a price for the leads that you are sending them. 
The key to negotiating a deal with the real business is to ask them how many of the clients that you're sending them are they actually able to close on? And then out of those customers, how much profit are they actually able to bring in from those customers? Luke usually negotiates for about 10%, meaning that if the business says that they will bring in about $5,000 from the customers that Luke is supplying them, then Luke will ask for about $500 to keep sending them leads. Now at this point, the client is going to be calling a certain business that they see on this website with a certain number and a certain business name, but they're gonna be connected to another business with another business name. So how do you handle that? You can use a system like CallRail. CallRail will forward the call from your business number to the other business number. And when they answer the phone, it will actually do a whisper so that they can hear that they're supposed to answer the phone as the other business. So they will answer as though they are picking up from your business name. So let's talk about the downside of this business model. Obviously there's always a downside. Imagine creating a wonderful website and give these leads to another business, but unfortunately their work is not that great and they end up getting you bad reviews. So you could spend tons of time creating this wonderful fictitious business only to have a real business lose all the business for you with their bad reviews. You definitely want to vet out the businesses before you start sending them leads. Make sure they're a good company that's not going to get bad reviews. You may even want to set up some sort of contract with the company so that they can't purposely get you bad reviews so they don't have to keep paying you for your leads. So in the contract, you could put something along the lines of if they get some bad reviews that they owe you X amount of dollars or however you choose to negotiate that. But you definitely want to have a plan for if bad reviews happen because that definitely could destroy all of your hard work. So this is the stuff they definitely don't teach you in school. Once you start learning about all the different ways you can create income for yourself, you start seeing the possibilities everywhere. So I hope you enjoy this strategy that you learned about today. I hope that you learned something new. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.